endless question is literally one sentence it's not like you were trying to ask you about the no it's literally one sentence they're gonna go this person is this this person is that and what is it like and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sugar i post nursing fashion and lifestyle content such as vlog if this is the kind of video you love to watch on youtube then please and please go ahead and subscribe to my channel click the red button below to subscribe i would definitely love for you to be a part of my family so please and please click on the red button below and be a part of this sweet amazing family and if you love to receive notification whenever i post a new video then go ahead and turn on your notification bell before i dive into all your curiosity about NCLEX, I want to say congratulations for graduating nursing school. I literally just graduated in May of 2020 and as I speak to you right now, it is August the 17th. Let me double check. Yeah, it is Monday, August the 17th. So it's still pretty fresh in my memory, my nursing school journey, how hard it was for me to get to this point. So I want to say congratulations to you. You made it. I'm proud of you and I know you're going to pass your NCLEX as well. So in this video i'm gonna discuss with you three different things which are things that you need to do before your NCLEX and things that you need to do on NCLEX day and things that you need to do post NCLEX first off i took my NCLEX 15th of july and like i said earlier on it's the 17th of um august so it's been exactly a month and two days since i took my NCLEX and exactly a month that i got my test result back i know you're more curious about what you need to do before NCLEX but i want you to listen to me because things that I'm gonna discuss throughout this video are things that you're gonna need until you get your test result back. First of all, I wanted to say, for me, I feel like your nursing knowledge is the best quality and the best tool that you need to pass your NCLEX. Did I use study material? Oh yeah, I used a bunch, but what can I say helped me on NCLEX day? I would definitely say it was a lot of my nursing school knowledge. I graduated May 15th and I took my NCLEX July 15th. I didn't start to study for NCLEX until 1st of June. So whenever I was trying to book a date for my NCLEX, I intentionally set 45 days for myself to study. I knew people that took it way earlier, you know, two weeks after graduation, a week after graduation, and three weeks after graduation that passed right away. And I know people that took it as early as, you know, the days that I just did it, that field as well. So for me, I just knew that I needed that much time to um, prepare for NCLEX. So first thing first, make sure you're allowing yourself enough time to study for NCLEX. Keep in mind, NCLEX is gonna test you over everything that you learned in nursing school, which is two years of studies if you do BSN because I'm a BSN graduate and I'm a registered nurse right now. So I'm gonna say, give yourself enough time to study. So the study material that I use are UWorld, Kaplan, and Mark Case audiobook. So as to your word, I subscribe to the um, two assessment and 2,090 questions, and I finished all my your word questions. Just imagine I took like 100 questions every day. I have like 45 days, so I have you know more than enough days to finish all my 2,000 questions. But for me, I feel like your word is. Really, 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 and unnecessarily tough. Whenever I was preparing for NCLEX, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people did say, oh, you would help them. I'm not going to say you would didn't help me, but I'm going to say you would as much as it helps. It sort of makes me think of NCLEX as a hard test. And to be honest, NCLEX is not as tough and as hard as you would question. NCLEX is more fundamentals, but are uh, complex. So NCLEX wants you to know, for example, um, your blood types. You know, I can remember a lot of questions that I saw on my NCLEX that I didn't, I didn't even get anything like that out of my 2000 questions and rationale that I read on UWord. I'm not saying UWord doesn't help. UWord is good to study, but as far as our NCLEX test and how they word their questions is totally different from what you see on your word. NCLEX is more of 
common nursing knowledge that they think you should know, but it's a little bit complex. So I didn't see questions about disease processes that I haven't heard about. For me though, most of my questions were common sense that aren't that common. I don't know how to put it, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. You would we have like a bunch of questions, like your questions could be going up to like four, five, six lines, and then they're literally asking you like a piece of it. It's just unnecessarily complex, more complex than my nursing school exam. But if that is the kind of vibe you like, if you like to like study complexly and then rather have like a simple exam, then you what is for you 100%. But for me, I'd rather study in the direction of what I am, the exam that I'm trying to write. That way I don't go into my exam center with a complex brain and then when I'm faced with not so complex questions, I'm confused because that was my case on my NCLEX day, which I'm still gonna talk about. Would I advise you get you what? Yes. But would I advise you use only you were to study, I would say no. If you can go back to your nursing school, I mean, I wouldn't lie to you. I didn't go back to my nursing school, you know, books, but I'm gonna say, make sure you remember the things that you were taught in nursing school. Do not panic. I swear to God, NCLEX is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be, which is one of the reasons that I think Honestly, on my exam day, I messed up. I did pass on my first try. So another study material that I did use is Kaplan. And I have a little bit of regret in regards to Kaplan. So what I did and what discouraged me for Kaplan at first was the fact that I was more focused on tutorial. I would go ahead and create my schedule around Kaplan live class. And then I would join the live class. Sometimes we discuss about things such as, you know, medication for um, heart disease, medication for high blood pressure, things of that nature so i really got tired at the point i'm like oh my god these are things that i already know from nursing school i don't need to be wasting my time on kaplan i'm just gonna go ahead and do something else that it's more complex which is you what so i literally stopped kaplan i just literally locked out of it and i never went back until like a day before my exam which i'm gonna talk to you guys about so i'm gonna say kaplan will be good for you if you aren't that strong in nursing school and i'm also aware that some people that does adn do nursing school online so i would think if you don't have that strong nursing content and nursing school foundation i would say use kaplan tutor to you know prepare for your NCLEX as well the last thing that i use to study for NCLEX, which i think i'm gonna say right now is the best okay is Mark K's audio. And if you have actually researched about English, you must have heard a lot of people talk about Mark K, Mark K, Mark K. Oh my God, this man is God said. So with Mackay, according to him and his recording, he had said he used to set questions for NCLEX so he kind of understand how NCLEX test and what NCLEX test on, which I think is pretty effective and was more, more of a refresher for me whenever I was studying. So I would do Mackay recording maybe in the morning after gym, then throughout the day I would do um you what questions i finished the old marquee's recording and that was the last thing that i used in regards to um studying materials so like i said earlier on i did buy two assessment on you what so 15 days before i test for NCLEX, i did my first assessment and i got very let me see if i can show you guys i don't know if it's still available probably not because you know how they let me see. My first assessment, I did get a very high chance of passing. I was really, really excited. I was like, oh my God, I'm good to go. So the day before my end class, is it the day before, two days prior to my end class, I decided to take my second assessment for you world. And I got um really, really bad score, okay? He told me that I was literally gonna fail. And I feel like that played a part as to why I had low confidence going into NCLEX because whenever I did my first assessment and I got very high chance of passing, you guys, I was on cloud nine. But the second one I got literally, literally says low and it says you have no chance of passing NCLEX. So I'm like, uh, and that was literally like two days before my, my NCLEX. So I was a little bit discouraged and I started watching more YouTube videos. I, I watched some people say it doesn't matter. I watched some people say it matters. So I was a little bit confused. So what I did do was go on Kaplan that I had stopped, you know, <laughs> using since, you know, my first, whenever I started to prepare for NCLEX and Kaplan's does have like a section and that also tests you for anklets. Oh my God, guys. And I did this a day before my anklets. So it's 180 questions. 
I guess, yeah, I think it's one of the questions and it's going to test you on just the same way um, you would assessment test you. Whenever I go to Kaplan, I started taking the question. The questions were one word. And that was the first thing that got me pissed about Kaplan whenever I started the assessment. So I clicked out at about 40 questions. I'm like, why are these questions one word? Why are these questions so, like, they're not simple, but they're literally straight to the point. Or if you see the questions and you don't understand the questions, you're literally not gonna know the answer. That's how easy those questions were. Because I have a whole lot of anxiety, I decided to go ahead and finish up the one of the questions that I'd already clicked out of and Kaplan said you have a very high chance of passing endless so at this point just like a few hours before my exam, I already have mixed feelings about my exam. So that's literally, before I move to my exam day, which is the NCLEX day, I'm just gonna say those are the things that I used to study for NCLEX. Which one would I recommend to you? I'm gonna say use your word because your word is complex, it helps you think widely if you're that kind of person. Am I gonna recommend Kaplan to you? I didn't really use Kaplan as diligently as I used your word. So I'm gonna say for Kaplan, it is good. But I, I cannot recommend Kaplan because I didn't use it as much as I use you would. But the one thing that I can recommend to you right now that's gonna be of use to you is go get the Mac Case audio book. That is what you need the most. And then you can use Kaplan and you would for practice question just to test yourself on how you're gonna text test for endless fast forward to endless day i already have this doubt in my mind that i may not pass i may pass just you know judging from my assessment from those two websites and i have a vlog about my endless day i'm gonna put a card up here and i would encourage you to go watch that vlog leaving my apartment right here i was thinking to myself sugar you're gonna get 60 questions do not worry about it and by the way in case you're watching this video post covid i took my exam I'm drawing COVID-19 and the minimum question as of now is 60 and the maximum is 130. Is it 130 or 140? I cannot remember. On getting to my exam center, something just told me, sugar, you're gonna take all the questions there is. And I'm like, why, who is this person speaking to me? Why is this thing trying to, you know, give me all this negative vibe? But, um, I got to the exam center, I was wearing a scarf. The first thing the person said to me was, take out your scarf, and I'm like, I cannot take it down. You know, it's for religious purposes. And she checked my ID and she said, oh, it's not on your ID, so it's not religious, you may have to take it down. And that, as a black woman, you understand? I wasn't, I didn't like, because I didn't have like good hair underneath my scarf. Anyways, that was the first thing that disrupted me. I think I had a whole lot of anxiety going into the exam. Long story short, I started my exam and I did the first 10 questions and it was just really, really one sentence more like Kaplan's practice question. I swear to God, not practice question, assessment um, question. I swear to God, if someone had told me endless would be worded more like Kaplan, I probably would have paid more attention to Kaplan. I don't want to say that as well because I didn't do that and I still end up passing, so I don't want to advise you the wrong way. But I'm on the same endless question. It's literally one sentence. It's not like you were trying to ask you about the, no, it's literally one sentence. They're gonna go, this person is this, this person is that, and what is it? Like, it is like once you read the question and you don't know the, I mean, you don't understand what the question is saying, you probably would not know the answer to the question. They're not like simple, like really just randomly simple, but they're not complex as well. I started messing up when I got to 60 questions and the computer didn't shut down. <sighs> I'm gonna say, whenever you go for your NCLEX, just have it in mind that you may take all 140 questions, or if you're taking it post-COVID, you may take all 280, is it 280, or what, however questions you have on it, that you may take everything, because I feel like that was what messed me up in NCLEX, because I know my content, I know I'm smart, I know God is with me, you know, I prayed, but I just wasn't myself after 60. As soon as I got to 61, I started thinking, oh, Shiga, you already failed. Oh, Shiga. It was just a lot of bad vibes. And I'm just grateful to God that at 130 questions, I got, you know, shut out. Oh, oh before then, literally the computer had to, <laughs> the 
The computer had to shut down at some point and say, take a break because I've been taking my exam for that long. Everybody that we came in together that was taking the class, they already finished and looked in the oral, it's just me. But I'm still gonna say to you, if that happens to be your, um, your case, which I pray it doesn't happen to you, but if it does happen to you, just relax, just answer your questions as you, as you would if you had taken the minimum questions. Long story short, I finished my exam. I took all the questions there is. I got out of the exam or I have a vlog like I said. I literally broke down after my exam. I cried and there's this thing called um, piercing review trick. Is it, is it, I'm gonna put it on the, on the screen, but there's this trick that you can use to check if you're gonna pass the NCLEX or not. And they say to wait until you get like an email confirmation from piercing that you have written your NCLEX. So immediately I got home, I received the email and then I tried the, um, the, pier the piercing view trick and literally what popped up for me you guys are gonna understand what that is whenever you're, you're in that process was that I failed. Doing the piercing review and giving me like the response of me failing literally added to my anxiety. Long story short, 48 hours later, I checked my result and I passed and I just want to say you're smart, you can do this and you're gonna pass, okay? I have a video on on everything that I just covered which is my endless day and my um, endless live result day. You're going to pass. The most important thing that you need to know is that you know your content for you to have graduated nursing school trust me you are smart and you're gonna pass in class i'm gonna tell you right now believe in god believe in your knowledge and know that you're gonna pass i passed and i'm a registered nurse now and you're gonna pass as well it doesn't matter if you pass on 60 questions or if you pass on 300 questions as long as you pass and you have your you know certification that you passed that's all that matters okay good luck on your exam i wish you all the very best if you have any more questions for me please check my description box for my email shoot me your question i'll be so glad to reply your emails or better still follow me on instagram that way i can you know be quick to reply to your dms i wish you all the very best believe in god believe in yourself study hard and you're gonna make it thank you for watching this video and i will catch you next time on my life Ashiga. Bye, y'all.